recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, Mr. Horowitz, for being here. In late September of 2016, the FBI came into possession of the Anthony uh, Weiner laptop, which contained hundreds of thousands of potentially uh, emails related to the Clinton investigation. Uh, my first question, would you say that this discovery was rapidly uh, communicated with the midterm Clinton investigation team and the FBI, or was it slow walked? The New York office uh, promptly reported it to the mid-year Clinton investigation team. Okay, and when did Peter Strug, of course, who he, he was leading the Clinton investigation, when did he, uh, when was he made aware of the lab? On September 28th. All right, so the next day, or close, wi right. within, within days. All right, um, so this is the same Peter Strzok has come, has come up in multiple ways, repeatedly bashed President, uh, well, candidate Trump at that time, uh, and then committed to stop him from becoming president. Now, from uh, Strzok's, from the perspective of his superiors, uh, Bill Priestap, for example, was he uh, at this time committed to the Clinton investigation or was his focus more on the Russian investigation? At the time of September 28th uh, and 9th, uh, Mr. Strzok was, was working on the Russian investigation. And Mr. Priestap, I mean, and, that's what... That's and his supervisor was working not just on that, but as you might expect as Assistant Director of Counterintelligence, a wide variety of matters as we lay out here. Right. On page 297 of your report, uh, Priest said that the Wiener laptop was not his top priority at this time due to his involvement in the Russian investigation. You said that Priest himself said that I don't want to say distracted, but yeah, my focus wasn't on the mid-year anymore and Strzok himself was assigned to both the Russian and Clinton investigations at this point but he was still the lead in the Clinton investigation. So it's fair to say by your report that the uh, superiors uh, were distracted at this time. They were not focused on the mid-year investigation, but on the Russian investigation. Correct. And, and to be clear for Mr. Priestap, he was also talking about the election interference issues more broadly than just what has now come to be known as the Russia Which adds to the whole scenario that he was, he was distracted. His right. focus was not right. on the Clinton investigation anymore. So here we go back to Strzok. All right, he is presented now with a choice. Mm -hmm. He receives the information that from the discovery of the, the Wiener laptop, hundreds of thousands of emails potentially damaging and at least uh, related to the Clinton investigation. He has a choice now to either uh, follow up on that, the leads from that laptop and report them in a timely manner, or knowing that his superiors are distracted, he can conveniently place this laptop discovery on the back burner. Uh, and so how long did it take <laughs> Strzok and the mid-year uh, team to finally get around to the laptop? So there was activity the next day, September 29th, and then there was some discussions back and forth up through thir October 3rd or 4th, and then no activity whatsoever until the New York field office again raised a concern on October 21st, ultimately, or around October 21st, ultimately resulting in a call on October 21st from the U.S. Attorney's Office from the Southern District of New York to the Deputy Attorney General's Office uh, inquiring about why there's been no activity. So Strzok was taking this slow. I mean, he was not. He did not report it in a timely manner and pursue this thing. It was only after the New York uh, group pushed it that he that Strzok got on board and said, "We've got to do something about this." Uh, Strzok and others, yes. All right, but but that that's the timeline in all of this. Um, and so, I mean, from every appearance, he did everything he could to prevent this discovery from becoming public because it may hurt the Clinton campaign. Uh, and you yourself uh, stated that you could not, with any confidence, uh, say that Strzok's political bias did not lead him to delay looking at the laptop. You still stand by that? Yes. Okay, so this is where the whole, the whole cycle comes back to me, where the every appearance and action by Strzok at this point is that his political bias did, in fact, prevent him from bringing forth 
this information because it may hurt the Clinton campaign. And this is precisely uh, really one of the big things that to me is is just the elephant in the room where there not only was political bias, but action based on that bias to protect one individual over the other, Clinton over, over uh, Trump. And I, I, this is the same Strzok who is leading the Russian investigation, which of course is the foundation of the Mueller uh, special counsel. So tremendous concern here. Again, I thank you for being here, and Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Gentlemen, you